I'd just like to thank everyone for coming today. Uh, we've acquired Marco Scandella from Montreal Canadiens for a second round pick in the 2020 entry draft and a conditional fourth round pick in the 21 entry draft. Those conditions are if we sign uh, Marco to an extension, uh, that becomes fixed, or if we uh, play in the conference finals, and Marco plays in one half of our games in the first two rounds, that becomes fixed. Um, this was obviously done uh, in response to Jay Bowmeister's uh, incident last week. Jay's been placed on long-term injury, uh, and uh, he and I have had a conversation. I met with him yesterday. He's back uh, from from uh, California. We had a good conversation. I told him there's no no timeline to to talk publicly. He's going to take the week. Uh, he and I are going to talk early uh, on the weekend, or early next week. I expect him to come and make a public. Uh, statement uh, in the next uh, seven to ten days about uh, where he's at right now. Uh, there's there's no retirement uh, announcement from me on Jay today. Uh, again, it's premature uh, to talk like that. I want Jay to get comfortable, uh, certainly with his family uh, and uh, his new normal uh, as far as that goes. And uh, so with the corresponding trade and LTI to make ourselves uh, roster compliant, we've sent uh, Nico Mikola back to the San Antonio. Uh, we have uh, high hopes for him in the future. Obviously, we've signed him to a one-way contract for next year. Uh, but entering, entering this uh, important push and and the postseason, if we're fortunate enough to play well enough to get there, your experience does matter. Uh, if we were sitting here ten days ago, I would have said uh, one area we wouldn't be touching would be our defense. But uh, things change in that fashion. Uh, with that being said. Uh, We've had positive news on Vladimir Tarasenko. He's uh, uh, training well, uh, skating in our morning skates. Uh, there's no uh, new update on a timeline, but things are moving uh, positive in that fashion. Uh, but with the addition of uh, Marco, I would say that right now we're going to assess the trade market between now and next Monday. Uh, but with the cap situation, with LTI, with a lot of the math equation that goes in, uh, it, it will be... Uh, in any any deal, I would say this point moving forward is going to be a strictly a hockey trade, uh, which is our very rare this time of year. There's no questions we have to be answered. <laughs> uh, I, you may not want to speak for uh, for Jay, but it, so it, I mean we're assuming that he's not going to play the rest of the season. Is that is that safe to say? I would say that this season is certainly in jeopardy just based on being on LTI and and when uh, when he would come off. Uh, again, there's a new norm for Jay and. Uh, I want him to be able to process all this and think about it and, and at, his, at his time make a decision on, on what is best for him. But we are planning on moving with Marco and this group as a group that will play for the rest of this season. And for Vladdy, you're, so you're, it's still potential or possible that he could play before the end of the regular season at this point? Yeah, yeah. That, that five to six month window that we're working off of takes us uh, this early March to early April. Uh, the way he's training now, I've talked to him the last couple of days, he looks great. Uh, but again, we have to get the doctors to sign off on these things, and I, I don't want to, I don't want to get the cart too in front of the horse. It's not like you're going to see him play on Thursday or, or Sunday or anything like that. Uh, just an update that he is doing well and uh, uh, he is progressing, and, and uh, hopefully, whether it's in early March, mid March, end of March, early April, that'll be our our, our great uh, acquisition for the forwards at the deadline. I mean, as far as Marco Scandell is concerned, I know we saw him play real well when the wild when he was playing for the wild playing a regular spot he's been kind of bumped around a little bit is there still the same assets that you like about marco scandella and both sides of the puck yeah i think uh, going to buffalo it was a, a different environment than leaving minnesota uh, mike van ryan actually has worked with uh, marco in the past in the wild organization so he has a good feeling for him uh, we view him to be a uh, the type of player that we lost Bo was a rangy player had a great stick could kill plays down low uh, a simple first pass player. Uh, Mark was a good skater. I don't think he's an elite skater like Bo was in his prime or, or still wasn't effective, but he can. He has a, a powerful shot. Uh, we think that right now with our, our, our players on the right side, whether he plays with uh, Alex or Falk or Perenko, I think it, it gives us, I told him, it, you, you're, you're drawing a good card regardless of who you get to play with there, and uh, he was excited about that. And I, I just think that the way that Craig and uh, Mike have our team playing, Darren, that, that having those big, rangy, difficult players to play against 
uh, fits into what we're doing. Starting last, uh, last probably Thursday afternoon after we got through what, went, what transpired Tuesday, Wednesday, trying to get everything, understanding of where Jay was to, you know, hockey was so secondary for, for a good 36 hours. Uh, but then when uh, his, he was stable and uh, my job was then to, to put our focus on that uh, publicly, but privately and behind the scenes work with my counterparts around the league and seeing what was available. You can see the, there's defensemen moving. Uh, probably if you've made a trade this early, uh, people say, you know you overpaid when they say yes. Uh, it's a, it's a, a second-round pick we put a lot of value in. That market was set. I think the Islanders uh, made an acquisition last uh, few days ago of, of uh, a Jersey player green for a second-round pick. We saw Dylan go today for a second and a third. Marco's a second. That's just the price of doing poker this time of year. Uh, we, we weren't uh, involved. We, we had weren't involved in, with Jersey at all with Green. I think Green had made a statement that he was very content on staying there, uh, staying in that. I think that New York market was was good for him, his relationship with Lou. Uh, but we did have conversations with all the other teams on potential players that would be available. And uh, if, if we had have got to next Monday, Darren, and, and done nothing, uh, we would have been comfortable with the seven that we had here. Uh, Miko... Uh, uh, being the guy that we had the least uh, bit of information on, but it's not. It's the next injury and the one after that. If you want to play deep, that that and we're very thin. Pouliot's got experience. Other than that, there's not a lot of experience in an American League team. So uh, we had a threshold of pain that we were able to to absorb, and that threshold was a second round pick. Uh, um, other than that, we did talk to teams about potential hockey trades, uh, but as I said, those are few and far between this time of year. Dylan went for a little bit more second, third. Maybe that was your threshold. Um, once he's off the board and maybe go to your next plan. Yeah, Jared, well, uh, like I was talking to Doug, I was talking to Mark. I, you have a sense of who's talking to who and what's going on. Uh, we, we felt that they're very similar players. Uh, the one thing that, uh, that Dylan has, he's played on a, a higher uh, competitive team over the last couple of years, so he has that experience that Marco hasn't had regarding the playoffs the last couple of years. But we see a lot of similarities in their style of play, and and we talk, we're talking to both to both parties about potential trades, and we got very comfortable working with Mark uh, on on what we could do with Montreal, and we uh, put our singular focus to that. Sandell will be here tomorrow. He's flying in tonight. Uh, Montreal was in uh, in Detroit, so he's flying in. Uh, we there is still uh, some visa issues uh, because he was in Buffalo, then went to. Uh, I don't want to get too too bogged down in it, but he went to a Canadian team as a Canadian. We got to reapply for his P1, and so there's some work to be done there. But we're hoping to get him uh, available for our next game. Okay, you said future career like now on Monday, but likely be hot in Detroit. So how do you, how do you look at your forwards? Well, uh, I think we we certainly saw a different uh, complexion when uh, number 70 Sunquist came back into the lineup. I thought that uh, provided us with some stability. Craig was able to readjust his line to have that comfortable line to start uh, af at the start of periods, also to start uh, after goals. Uh, but right now he has to adjust on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, but I think getting Vladdy back, uh, I, I think our forward group is going to be as, uh, as stable and strong as it's been in the past uh, here. Not to be on the same page with you about you saying hockey dreams, um, does that sort of say that you believe that Tarasenko could be back in the system? How you spend that long-term yeah, basically, yeah. If, uh, uh, if, if, if I get information from now on Monday uh, and we are talking about this daily and talking to the doctors that, that he, he's not going to be available, then that changes everything, JR, on, on. But you have to be CAP compliant or before the Bowmeister injury, back to CAP compliant with, with, with Vladdy in the lineup. And with Vladdy in the lineup, that gave us $200,000 from the day he got hurt. So it's not like we can go out and uh, acquire someone and, and then hope to get cap compliant when, uh, when uh, the time arises. The trade deadline has passed at that point. So uh, to, to put somebody in with a $7.5 million cap hit, it, it takes a little bit of maneuvering. The fact that Sanford's played so well lately, has that affected your thinking on the possibility of wanting a top six forward or needing a top six forward? Yeah, I, I would say that uh, probably a month ago, we were waiting for someone to grab that. Uh, I think maybe the last time we spoke, I said that, 
I felt that Sammy Blay had come in and, and separated himself from that group uh, in training camp in the early part of the season. Uh, a wrist injury occurs to him, and then all of a sudden, he's a letter grade behind that group. Uh, just just out of, of training and, and getting back in there. He's trying to find his footing now. Uh, in that time frame, uh, uh, Sandy ha Sanford has found his spot there. Uh, he's produced a lot, not just the one offensive output that says, uh, you know, the four goals, but he was playing good. He's getting lots of looks. The last couple of games, he's got lots of looks. So he seems to be finding a comfort level. And uh, we need that group of player, whether it's Sanford, whether it's Blaze, it's, it's these... It's the Sunquist, the Barbashev, that the the valley has to get much closer to the top of the mountain on a day-to-day -day basis, and and you can accept and understand larger fluctuations in play between a a Robert Thomas or a Cairo at, at at 20 and 21 than you than you're hoping for at 24 and 25. We're hoping Sandy has found that area. Do we expect him to score a, a goal a game pace the rest of his career? Uh, That'd be awesome, but uh, we're not counting on it. But we do, ex we are hoping to get a very stable player in the sense that Craig knows what he's getting night in, night out. Uh, Brower, now is he, uh, is he going to report to San Antonio? And I know you can expand the rosters after the trade deadline. Will we just maybe stick around here and you could add him if you want? Yeah, it's. Uh, I talked to him again today, and it's a. Uh, it's been a yo-yo for him. Uh, I said, uh, right, right now, uh, why don't you take the rest of the week? Uh, we're you know we're we're mid we're near the end of the week anyways uh reconnect with your family i'm going to have more information on on uh, our team and you'll have more information on what you want to do so he's not going to report to san antonio uh right now he's not suspended uh it's just we're giving him he's not skating with our team he's not practicing with their team for the nhl he's not working out at our facility so don't find us uh, he's just uh, sitting home and deciding what he wants to do okay thanks everybody